in in Jamaica and people wonder why I think we're going to win a third term. Jamaican people do not vote for unpopular leaders. Mm. Let, let's get into that because I've been wanting to ask. Remember, A long time in the day, man. <laughs> Has the PM lost favor of the people? Do you, do you feel that? I don't you, think... I think that when you have been in power for seven years, there are going to be some people who are like, well, you know, but we look somewhere else. Mm. Mm. But I think for prime minister he still maintains a majority of support as a political leader in the country mm. he's the most popular political leader across the board mm -hmm. generally um and if you even go out on the street and talk to people i mean there are some people who have disappointments yeah mm -hmm. but fundamentally people still have a positive view of the prime minister let me ask you this do you think it's by default you mean he's gonna win by default as in the other His side is popularity <laughs> is where it's at by default because the other side doesn't have somebody to match him in popularity. I don't think so. I think a lot of it has to do with his history. I mean, mm. Mm. from 2009, he has been, well, not really from 2009, but you saw the first sign of his popularity in 2009 mm. um, where he became one of the most popular politicians in Jamaica. And he has done a lot of things over the last um, decade and a half, mm. almost two decades to demonstrate to the people of Jamaica. Listen, let's use one example of it. <laughs> Many countries went through COVID mm. and nearly died. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jamaica is one of the few countries that went through COVID and came out and was able to bounce back quickly. Mm -hmm. Right? Remember? Relatively that, speaking. Relatively mm -hmm. speaking. Mm -hmm. When you look at what Shadow happened in them. several other countries, <laughs> we never had to borrow any money. Yeah, which has always been an issue of Jamaica. billion dollars food package we give barber money taxi man money elderly people got money we were able to increase bed space in hospitals we were able to buy a vaccine even if you don't take vaccine we we're able to buy a vaccine we got outside hospital units were built and thing and we never had to borrow a dollar to do it mm. compare that to 2008 <laughs> when we had the global economic crisis Ooh. and we had to go to imf mm -hmm. we had to devalue the dollar mm -hmm. we had to borrow money from all over the place and fundamentally, I think people see Prime Minister Andrew Wilson as somebody who actually cares about the country. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even PNP, like who probably that. don't like Labour, right? Say, you know, why well, I mean, I vote for Angie, no, but... He might go on. Might go on. <laughs> I, I think that was a sentiment probably three, four years ago. I think over time, there are things that would indicate that there is a disconnect between Andrew and the, the, the administration mm -hmm. and the people. But and I think agree. it's just overall the political process because I he spoke so. about it at the conference where, mm. you know, he recognized that there are a lot of people who are disengaged from the political process and wanting to bring them back in the fold. So it's just like how, how as him as a party leader, as well as the prime minister of a country trying to re-engage people. But that's expected though. You're in, you're in the midterm of your second term. No, but when, when you guys voted, it was less than 30%, given that COVID was... Yeah, the I issue mean, where the turnout, of, I would the turnout wasn't main there. Reason. 20 as a, yeah. as, a, as a standard for anything. Right. Mm -hmm. But when you're in midterm of your second term, you would have made plans. You would have. So, for example, let me give you an example. Um, 2019, Jamaica was like going like this. Right. I mean, yeah. everything was in line. Unemployment was falling. Mm -hmm. People had made money. Growth was taking place. Hotel a bill. The amount of crane of their own Kingston was unimaginable. Everybody was excited, enthusiastic. March 10, 2020, yeah. everything crashed. We had to lock down the hotels. We had to send home workers. We had to do weekend lockdowns. People got arrested because of COVID. People were suffering. Because of Andrew Holness, I got to people. <laughs> <laughs> people were suffering, right? And we had to go through that for almost two years. Mm. Mm. That had a not only that, but a lot of people lost loved ones. Yeah, mm -hmm. that had a serious the psychological impact. Psychological too. impact on Staying people. Staying inside, you know, people isolating. We, the Jamaicans we had in 2019 are not the same Jamaicans we have now. Mm. Mm. You're you're seeing significant sociological changes in how people process information and how people behave in 2023 mm. and as a government we have to evolve to meet 
the expectations of the people and how people perceive what their life should be and what their life is you're gonna have fall off in in the middle of your your second term mm. but think about this the pnp has been campaigning for almost three years we and them should not be neck and neck because we weren't campaigning Mm. Mm. Mark Golden has been on every single platform in almost every parish in Jamaica. <laughs> he should not be Mr. Twelve Percent, right? <laughs> Why is it that if it is that <laughs> Andrew, you should especially have the father on the fix earlier in the year. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> he, did not, he did not come on the fix. <laughs> he did. He did. <laughs> you saw that. <laughs> no, 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 you saw. You I saw. I didn't watch it. <laughs> but the, the point I'm making is that if you have been campaigning for three years mm-hmm. to be prime minister of this country, you have spent. I don't even know how much money them spend. They have bloggers all over the place saying all sorts of things. You should not be 12%. You should be 30%. Because mm. we haven't spent any money in the market. We have not been... The first time you've seen a real push out of the JLPs over the last six months because we were preparing for conference. Mm. Right? And so this point I'm making to you is that we, we made a mistake earlier in the year where we did not communicate properly with the population yes, yes. Mm-hmm. and people punished us for it mm-hmm. so you saw two polls where pnp was three four points ahead mm-hmm. right but the fact that we were it within the margin of error says something to you it is not that the people don't want the jlp they don't know what the jlp the people doing. are <laughs> saying we love when the guys in the world need to do better. Mm-hmm. Mm. We're, not ready. We're not ready for them That's guys. That's how you yet. interpret it. Mm. We're not ready for them guys yet. Them need, ter- mm. them need three terms in our position. You need three terms <laughs> in the court. <laughs> 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 oh, I wow. think that's a lot of dissentment in regards to the PNPs yeah. that yo them need them just need to get them house in order if, if it even just to just have a, a strong opposition yeah. you know mm-hmm. but you need to have a house to get it in order though wow. <laughs> a house divided eh yeah you yeah. yeah. oh, not so turn, turn over there in a museum yeah, yeah, you can't <laughs> there's no <laughs> you can't have, it's like Game of Thrones where everybody have them on castle and them on yeah. yeah. them you see one of the things that makes Prime Minister Holden so special is that he has been able to keep us together. Mm. Mm. True. We are all there individual politicians <laughs> with our ambitions and our hopes mm. and our dreams and our plans. Mm-hmm. And what demonstrates that, that is true. You really. realize in a cast cast no. in our party. Yeah, yeah, true. Oh, know, there, there probably <laughs> is, but we'll just keep it. We don't hear about it, really. We do a good job of keeping it. You know, you see the cast guy. You hear no war of one. You hear nobody resign. No. Most people switch from JLP to PN. Him openly can't condemn some at least him put out certain edicts out there and say yo no go out with this no go out with that or else and I, I know at least held them accountable still, for yes. the most part I yeah. know mm-hmm. everybody in the cabinet knows mm-hmm. that if you slip your slide mm-hmm. poor George Floyd boy right I mean poor, right. poor George <laughs> <laughs> really right. the man oh, is not going to enjoy his marital bliss yeah. Yeah, yeah. Man. shout out you but, shouldn't have of course <laughs> well we have to talk about the commu- communication part of things because that's something that I've noted was Fine on all cylinders at, at a certain point, but no, you yourself have, have acknowledged, say, yo, there's been a, cer- a certain decline. Mm. And you, you, you pointed out, say, yo, in certain respect, that has undermined the work that the administration has done over the years. So what is it that has been going on in regards to the communication parts, I think, and how you plan to get it back on track? The first thing is that um, you have to situate what you're doing for people at their feet. Mm. If you're if you're going to be improving the lives of people, do not assume that they know that you're improving their lives or mm-hmm. that they give you credit for improving their lives. Mm-hmm. And I think a big part of the JLP and JLP government's problems historically is the assumption that people get it <laughs> will give you credit for the work that you have done without you telling them that it's you. Hmm. So the JLP will grow the economy and assume that, well, may I grow the economy, people are going to appreciate it. Hmm. That's not how political communications work. And I think we have recognized over the last, I have been a minister in, uh, with responsibility for information since the 11th of January hmm. last year. And I have tried my very best over the last year to build out not just a a perceptive infrastructure, but a fundamental infrastructure um, to, to, to build out a communication system that is not just frivolous. Yeah. It is something that is going to last. It's something that's going to be strong. Mm. Not just for the JLP government, but for governments generally. Mm. 
Because a big part of our problem as a society is that people don't trust government because they don't understand what government does. Mm -hmm. So we've, I've spent a lot of time with GIS, I've spent a lot of time with PBCJ and we're doing some other things. Politically though, I think we have also, upon recognizing the problem, we've spent a lot of time improving it. So you notice post-cabinet press briefing keep every Wednesday. Mm -hmm. You notice we're on TikTok mm -hmm. now. We're on Facebook. We're please on don't Instagram. make him drift on TikTok, please. <laughs> no, but we see my drift already. Yeah, we well, see me. We see my drift already. We see my drift already. Right. Okay. So, so, so one of the and I, and when I said what I said a couple months ago, mm -hmm. there were some persons who criticized me saying I shouldn't have said it within the party. There were persons who criticized me <laughs> saying <laughs> I shouldn't have said mm -hmm. it. But my perspective on these things is that you must tell the truth. Yeah. Mm. I mean, it don't make sense. Everybody believes something. I hear tell them say nothing no go so. Because mm. everybody saw that we were not doing a good job communicating. And I a, saw that. That was one of the biggest criticisms of yeah. the government. People said, boy, them do so well and them do so much things, but nobody don't know. And people don't even understand, yeah. like, because you mentioned that the economy is growing, but most people don't feel it, right. like, on the day to day. And a part of feeling it is knowing it. Yeah. Right? So persons may not associate. Like, I'll give you a simple example. That's what I was about to ask. Um, heart trust is now free up to level four. People do not necessarily associate that with the government unless you tell them that is the government does it. Mm. Because public bodies function on a daily basis. Them do them job, them mm. do them thing. Yeah. And if somebody gets a benefit from a public body, they're not going to necessarily associate it says the government cause it. Well, not like no, no, don't do hard because not everyone engages with hard. But like say cost of living, like how mm. has that been stabilized? I mean, you know, everybody complain about it. You just mentioned in and, Canada, and that's the flip side of it, the cost of living is high. But people were blaming the government for the inflation. Yeah. Mm. Right. That's a world problem. When it was a global issue. Mm -hmm. And of course, people who are political opportunists like the opposition is going to come and say, is Andrew Wallace well, making the food price gone up? He's he's to blame for everything. <laughs> right. Everything right. Yeah, but, <laughs> but, you know, you sound like one of them. But, <laughs> but the, the, the thing is, if you do not communicate to people and let them know what is happening globally, mm -hmm. because, for example, a lot of people don't get them news from traditional sources anymore. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of people spend the entire day doing this. YouTube. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right? So if you, if you are not purposeful in trying to communicate with people and say, listen, look what is happening in Canada. They don't have vegetables in the UK in some supermarkets. Mm. Look what is happening in the United States. Mm -hmm. People are going to perceive that their suffering is individual. Mm -hmm. mm. They're not going to recognize that there's a global problem. Mm. Ukraine, why we couldn't get the fertilizer, so on Green. and so forth. Yeah. And I think we have done a much better job over the last several months in making people understand. So now you go on the street and people say, boy, Mr. Morgan, it's food price. I know what we know, say I know Jamaica thing, a foreign mm. thing. And... What is also interesting is that their own relatives who are in these foreign countries are saying to them, boy, you know, I'll not be able to send it 200 US this week yeah. 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 Thing here. because mm -hmm. things kind of rough up here. So, mm -hmm. so people, and I said to people all the time, the Jamaican people are not idiots. All you have to do is just reason with them so they understand right. what you're doing and what the government is doing. Nigel has been doing a good job in telling the people what he's doing to help, you know, and one of the weirdest things is that... A couple times him sleep. <laughs> we've spent... Oh, yeah, I got your impression. No. Yeah, I got your impression. Yeah, you have a Nigel impression? Yes, yeah, she yeah, does. Yeah, she does. She has a brilliant so. dialect. Do it, do it. I've you need the glasses, all. though. <laughs> and she has yeah. glasses. She wears glasses. But we have to get one like you know, that. So I agree with you guys. I mean, yeah. we, we did slip up mm. initially in mm. terms of communicating properly. But I think that we have caught up a lot of ground now and we are a bit more competitive in the marketplace. Mm. But obviously, uh, I think, uh, let me just ask, is it because you have moved or you have moved away from the direction you know, I'm not going to go there, though. Yeah, and you know, you know why you shouldn't ask me that. We have to ask because, you know, not, not, I see not, the, not, on not, the not. surface, the people then probably pre that and say, hmm, maybe that is the shift. You know, you know, you, you know you're not you're supposed, supposed to. You know, you're stuff, not in, supposed to ask that question. <laughs> that you're not gonna <laughs> Let's move on. The wings to fly away. I could have traded it off. So much pain in my yard, I could have traded it off. But the bird when my feet, my wish it could dissolve. I no forget, I know everything can get resolved. Money, man, I grab dog, not pre your bad dog. Also, man, I also every minute, find the clock hard. 
Oh, so while you a snap, snap, chat, boy, I can't style it. Got car, you a waste, bad fraud. Tell the boy, go and done. He my bang hard. Tip guard, the bleach, still package land. Ain't learning, it's so fresh.